don't think I really kind of like looked at anything and was like, I want to become an artist. So just, I don't know, for as long as I can remember, my mum said I used to draw a lot. So I've always just kind of used, yeah, just always used to draw a lot basically as a kid. Um, and it kind of developed as I got older, I guess you could say. Nowadays, a lot of my inspiration comes from just uh, observation of the world around us, society we live in. Um, you know, things that I've been through myself and how I've dealt with it. So, um, but yeah, I guess in, in, in general, general sense, it's just to do with the society um, we live in, my own self-awareness and observation of others as well. Yeah, so the winning piece is a um, pretty cool story. I didn't have any canvases, I was pretty broke at the time, so. Um, one of my good friends, Rob, he um, let me these canvases that he had, so it was good to kind of force me to just kind of work with what I had, uh, which I like to do anyway. And the piece itself kind of represents, I guess, my observation of how, like, in society nowadays, I guess our perception of everything, our reality, and um, is very heavily influenced by social media and media in general. and. Um, whether people are conscious of it or not, I feel like a lot of people nowadays are very conscious of how they are in comparison to, you know, how people are perceiving themselves on this social media platform. So it's just kind of a piece to represent what I'm assuming a lot of people have felt or are feeling, which is maybe frustration or anxiety or, you know, depression, anything, you know, that kind of stems from that social media, which is why that um, little fame, infamous like or love button on the Instagram things in the forefront of the, um, the subjects, yeah, mind's eye, so. Um, but yeah, it was refreshing. I, I thought it was great because it gives me a different kind of um, crowd, I guess you could say, uh, to be able to try and communicate my um, my message across to so yeah I was really really pumped about it. Yeah I think uh, I think it's great anything that kind of um, harvests creative minds together to be able to express things that people are feeling or, or thinking um, is great and the fact that you know you guys are getting behind it I think it's great it just kind of closes a bit of a gap between what's stereotypically like artists are normally broke and just you know creatives and things and um, I guess the corporate corporate world is like a little bit um, I guess perceived as a bit more yeah like professional as such. I think it's great that you guys are, um, uh, are harvesting that and, and encouraging people and to be a part of it because um, I guess at the end of the day the more people that can be exposed to people's opinions the more people might relate to it and yeah, just think a bit deeper about things, yeah. Yeah, so it was a great um, stepping stone for where I was at, at the time. Um, I was very fortunate enough to have one of my larger canvases sold. And um, from there, obviously, being a, being a part of that and um, having that as part of my, um, I guess, creative CV, or as you will. And, was, was really, really beneficial. So since then I've been able to, um, yeah, anyone inquire or anything, I've been able to say, yeah, I've been a part of this great exhibition with um, Horn Wilcox and obviously the, reputa the reputation precedes itself. So, you know, I guess, um, yeah, it's definitely been something beneficial to um, leverage from. Um, so it's been, yeah, very positive. Yeah, so um, the new direction uh, for my art is kind of stemmed from that period where I was producing work that was more, I guess, commercially or, you know, socially accepted. Probably show a little bit more of who I am and, and some of the subject matters uh, representing things that I've been through in my life, whether it's, you know, positive things, challenges or whatever. So um, I've stripped back my, um, my art to I guess creating a bit more of a recognisable style, but more so uh, a recognisable message. I just feel like trying to put a voice out there for, for those young ones getting into it, 
hopefully, yeah, it gives them something to look up to that I can relate to this, but I can also aspire to do you know, other stuff than just tagging. So that's the direction I'm trying to go. Yeah, well, I'd love to be doing this full time. Um, I'd love to also be using my gift to um, share with young, younger aspiring um, youth out there, whether they're troubled youth or even if they're not troubled youth, you know, just um, yeah, trying to help young people um, who have the passion for it to really re realize their own unique skill set and style and um, yeah, just help carve a way for them. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I've, I do this because of my kids. Um, I want my daughters to see me I'm pursuing my dreams no matter how hard it may be um, so then I can I guess genuinely say to them that if you believe in something and work hard enough you'll get to where you need to be so I want to want to want to prove that to them